Here's what you need to know as you start your day. The National English Honor Society will be hosting Indy's first book sale. Join us on Saturday, May 15th from 10 to 2 p.m. in front of IHS. We have a great selection of books to choose from at bargain prices. Tell your friends and family. May is Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, and all month long we will be highlighting the contributions of Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders. Here's today's segment. He was outraged. He had to stand up and do something about it. I don't think he considered himself to be acting courageously. He had been raised in the schools to be taught that everyone was equal under law, and he believed in that. When the war broke out and he was um, told that he had to be in his home after 8 o'clock and none of his classmates had to be under the same restriction, he just intuitively knew that it was wrong. When we were kids, he had told us that he had been in prison, not because he did anything wrong, but because of the circumstances in, in the war. The impact of that action didn't really register with me, I don't think, until I was in my teens. And I was actually working in a summer resort in Colorado, and there was another um, uh, employee at the summer resort where I was working from Texas who was a law student and he came up to me and he said he said are you related to Gordon Hirabayashi and you know I, I said well yeah it's my father and I, you know, I was kind of surprised that some guy from Texas would, would know of my father so I asked him I said how do you know my father and he said well it's one of the most infamous Supreme Court cases in law history and you know, your father's case is studied because it's one of the few examples where law historians feel that the Supreme Court made a big mistake. That's when I realized how much impact he had on other people's lives and how important he was in the history of civil rights. My name is Jay Hirabayashi and I'm the son of Gordon Hirabayashi. Do you have a great idea and want to make it a reality? Maybe you're a writer with a great story beneath character art. Maybe you want to design a card for your friend who's graduating. Perhaps you need a logo or t-shirt design to advertise your club. Well, look no further because InDesign wants to help with all your design related needs. Scan the QR code on the flyer to put in a request for a design today. Our team will work with you to create the graphic design of your dream. Students and teachers are welcome to submit, so put us to work. Want to learn how the stock market works or hear about cool and upcoming popular stocks? Well then the Indie Stock Club is here for you. In this club you'll learn about the basics of investing, what types of stocks are, and some cool and upcoming stocks you can invest in. Please scan the QR code and fill out an interest form if you are interested. Join the Indie Science Club. Here we go into topics like climate change, the science of music, and explore concepts and gain appreciation for the sciences. Indie Girl Up has another incredible guest speaker event to invite you to. Please join us on May 12th at 4.15 after school for a question and answer session with Ms. Modak from Politico, a journalism firm based in Virginia. You can ask questions about the journalism field, how political news is handled, and our track of education to become a senior director. The Google Meet code is Indie Girl Up, and we look forward to seeing you there. Good morning. I'm Indian Nation weather reporter Hannah Skanga, and this is your Indian Nation forecast for today. Today, there's going to be sunny skies in the morning with increasing clouds in the afternoon. 
There's going to be winds 5 to 10 miles per hour and a high of 66 degrees. Later in the evening, you can expect cloudy skies, winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, and a low of 41. That's your nation forecast. I'm weather reporter Hannah Skanga. Back to you. That's all the time we have for this edition of Any Nation News. Have a great day, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow.